Okay, I will post the invoice. Let's see. <clears throat> amount <clears throat> is a one lakh rupees let's see customer invoice then customer is going to debit then our sales account is going to credit the accounting entry document simulate and post it so the document 7006 was posted in company code i will record this one customer invoice 7006 posted then let's see the with amount posted the amount what it has if the invoice value is a one lakh rupees now let's see then after posting that one we need to as soon as we receive okay check from the customer we need to deposit the check okay let's say we have posted yesterday we have posted i mean <laughs> the document which was generated yesterday okay today we are going to deposit the check okay manual check deposit how to deposit the manual check okay before process the payment the current customer payment yesterday i ran some um, uh, manual bank statement first we need to delete the statement okay if you want we can continue that one also no problem okay we'll take the same date we'll continue the same then slash n f f 68 is the transaction code for the manual check deposit remember okay before depositing the check today because yesterday i have already processed some statements so that is the reason we need to select see already the now yesterday i have processed okay check deposit deposit overview then this is the one what i have already processed okay so then we'll come back we'll see the statement number one what you can see here the statement number one for customer i have processed the statement number two one i had processed for vendors if you want to see that that cost how many statements which we have processed then this is the program then execute and also this is the program for deletion of the statement suppose let's say for example we have uploaded some bank statements okay after uploading the statements we have identified that the information was wrong information okay remember okay this is the program come back rf ebka 96 even for electronic bank statements also this is the standard sap program okay which we can delete the bank statements execute it and always the application area is the okay triple zero one okay electronic and manual bank statement okay then for logbox if you want to delete the logbox file you need to select the triple zero three okay now zero zero one we have selected up don't give id then execute it now you can see here the bank account with the bank account there were two statements which has been posted now you can see the statement id statement one and statement two which we have already processed okay so if you if there was any wrong amount which you have entered okay if you want to delete the statement you can come back and okay delete that one okay fine <clears throat> Okay. 
display individual print to over no problem we'll see okay we'll enter the bank key bank account number okay and currency is a inr statement okay uh, group is not required group is not required okay now the transaction okay <coughs> group, okay group i will enter third okay just for your information payment slip number the group is a okay it's a bill number okay bill number means which we have received invoice number okay the transaction we must have to end okay okay after entering all these parameters just enter okay transaction we must have to enter the transaction number for check deposit okay now see for check deposit check received clear from the customer check received clear from the customer one is a see now why for same posting rule why uh, for same transaction we have the okay two things means one is for plus is a incoming minus is a outgoing remember <clears throat> okay now minus then let's see the posting date will give the today's date value date we must have to give INR I'll change this one okay your today's date here now let's enter now amount what is the invoice amount which we have received from the customer okay the invoice value what we have posted one lakh rupees we have posted okay now one lakh rupees one lakh rupees reference document number if you know the reference document number you can enter reference document number see the customer you need to select the customer you need to enter the customer to which customer we are posting let us select that customer this is the customer then business area if you know that business area you can give that one and also reference number if you want whatever you want you can give it enter then now for one lakh related okay we have posted the invoice remember then we are we have received check from the customer then initially we have to deposit the check then save it then once again see after saving once again we need to save it then the system 1 lakh rupees it is it is processing now okay now go to system services means since it is creating the okay batch job batch input session session yesterday now you can see the system has been created the sm35 session okay system yesterday we were unable to create this session okay now as soon as the system will generate batch input session if we process that one then display select display errors only remember select display errors only then process process the open item okay select the line item which you which you want to clear one because it should be processed automatically but due to some technical uh, some technical error system is not processing automatically but for vendor related it is processing automatically simulate it then post it okay now see session overview <coughs> session overview session has been completely processed <coughs> now we'll come and see that the what we have processed the the document first we have to see that whether the customer line item has been cleared or not if okay it's not yet cleared means we have to after as soon as we receive payment from the customer let's see fbl 5n fbl 5n customer cleared item let's see okay one lakh it has been cleared now 
the document what we have posted 7006 now 7006 it has been cleared this was the invoice amount now this is the 8004 okay this is the incoming payment uh, means initially we have cleared the invoice here what is the accounting entry then one moment so Okay, so here as soon as once we deposited check into the bank account, what will happen? Customer is going to credit our check deposit account is going to okay uh, customer credit check depo uh, sorry check deposit account it is going to debit then customer is going to credit okay once we receive payment from the customer the check will be encashed from the customer what will happen main bank uh, main bank account will be debited check deposit account will be credit credited okay now <clears throat> Okay, directly it, the system has been processed here. Now let us display the accounting entry. What is it? What is this accounting entry? See now SBA check deposit account is debited. Then main bank account, uh, sorry. Okay, customer is credited. Customer is credited, check deposit account, it has been credited. Okay, now as soon as, now this is the initial entry what we thought. Now the next one is a, as soon as, okay, check deposit credited into the how, means this is the initial entry. Now the entry which is not updated till now into the main bank account, right? Now to update the, to update the statement, to update the bank statement into, then the, there is a FF67. We need to perform this transaction code FF67. Then statement number. Statement number is a three because we have already processed statement date. I'll give today's date 28072. Opening balance. Okay. Before selection of this one, remember bank statement statement overview see we need to select the statement overview double click this one new statement select the new statement means as soon as we select the new statement what system is going to show what is the current statement number because yesterday i have already processed statement number one and statement number two then at the same time what is the opening balance of this account okay what is the opening balance of this account okay remember always you need to do this one otherwise system will not process the payments okay then what is the then my opening balance is in 40,000 rupees then what will be the my closing balance remember the closing balance which we have received 1 lakh rupees plus 40,000 total my closing balance it will become 1 lakh 1 lakh 40,000 rupees is my closing balance the posting date if you want you can enter the posting date same as then enter then reference document number for what is the reference document number uh, of the customer okay when we post it okay then bank reference number bank reference number it's not required for this one bank reference number is a check number then business area if you want you can enter the business area then we must have to enter here is the we must have to enter here is a check transaction okay <clears throat> check deposit in bank account check deposit in check deposit in bank we must have to select this check deposit at bank then we need to select this one then the next one value date you can give the value date is a today's date 28 then amount how much amount we are receiving from the customer okay this one lakh rupees what we are receiving then enter save it now we have saved the statement once again just save it again system will process the go to system <coughs> services batch input session session 
now the session has been created new session has been created now you can see 28th now 6 uh, 631 the time also you can compare 631 then process the payment display errors only then process it because the reference number did not match here Display errors on the selected process. So, on items. Reference number is a completely wrong way. Okay. The reference number, this one. Number is entered three. Okay, let's see. No batch and procedure process to open item. Okay, this is the one what we have entered the reference number because system was looking for the reference number. Okay, now simulate it. See, now here you can see our main bank account is debiting as soon as once the check will get in cash. Okay, check account, check deposit account, it is crediting. Now save it session has been processed successfully there are no open sessions now back fp03 now this is the document what it has been posted enter 